All right, Coyote's been warming up for about 15 minutes. Let's uh, drive it around a little bit, take it up top, and uh, get some fluids changed. Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today's video, we're going to do an um, oil change on the engine oil here in the Coyote. Then we also have our hydraulic filter to change. So we're gonna try a couple new things with that, make it a little cleaner, a little easier to do. We'll see how that goes. Um, this is the 50 hour service, technically. I'm a little over, because I was waiting on uh, the filters to get in. Ended up ordering those from a dealer in Colorado. Uh, worked fine with them, shipped it out same day, took about a week to get here. A little easier than going down to my dealer to get them. So let's get started on this. Right, sorry for the wind if it's a little windy, but um, got the bucket rusted up on the trusty old trash can here just in case it feels like uh, falling down on me. Um, but let's go ahead and pop the hood. And it clears my brush guard and grill guard nicely. So... Here's the filter right here, and then and tucked away back under all this stuff is the fill, so they make it nice and easy for you to get to. That's for the front, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get the back transmission uh, fluid, hydraulic fluid flowing out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going first, um, get this all out. Dipsticks right there. Phil is uh, back over here, this guy here. So let me show you what I uh, got planned for this. All right, so for the 50 hour service on the Coyote, I am to change the engine oil, change the engine oil filter, and change the hydraulic filter. Uh, I've watched a few videos on YouTube of people doing this, and it always seems like it makes a huge mess. So I'm gonna try a couple things to kind of help fix that, hopefully, and make a little less of a mess. We'll see though. So one of those things is a flexible funnel. Um, we'll see how that works, getting oil away from the coyote and where I want it to go. Second thing, oil extractor. Um, not sure how that's going to work. I don't know how far down in the transmission there I'll be able to get it. Um, but at the 50 hour service, you don't change the fluid. So I picked up a five gallon pail of it for 80 bucks. So rather than spending 240 bucks on new fluid, um, not ready to do that yet. You don't have to do that till the 400 hour mark, I believe. So we're just replacing the filter now, but I want to get all of that down rather than drain it out the bottom because it needs to be reused. So I'm going to suck it up into the extractor here, put it in five gallon buckets, and then stick it back in the tractor when we're done. So we'll see how it works. Might work, might not. Uh, but let's get going. So not a great way to uh, angle the camera in here to see everything, but this is the dipstick for the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and maybe pull that out. So it's been running a um, little bubbly, that's fine. So the way this is supposed to work is this goes down in there and then you just pump it and oil magically comes out. So see how far down I can get this in there. So I'm gonna start pumping and let's see if any uh, fluid gets out. There it comes. A little slow because it's kind of cold out, but once it gets flowing into the container, it should be a little bit easier. So you can see it flowing right there. It is slowly sucking it out, filling up the chamber here. So I'm going to let this go for a while. Um, I'll check on it here in a couple minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, engine oil. So right here, there's two bolts. Um, the drive shaft goes through the middle, so that's why there's two reservoirs. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these bolts off, let it drain in. Make sure my reservoir is open, which it isn't. A bit of mess. So make 
make sure it plugs up. And I'm going to turn it around because it slopes that way. And let's go ahead and get these off. And I'm using a 17 millimeter. Pretty loose on there. Paper towel handy to uh, clean those off. I think there's about two gallons, 1.76 gallons, I guess, in here. So let those get emptied. All right, I'm gonna let that drain and go check on the back. I can't get my big hands in here. So, got a long pair of pliers. I'm just gonna use that to kind of pry that open a little bit. So then I can have it undone. And we'll get some air going through there, make sure uh, all the oil's out. We're drained out of here, so I'm going to go ahead and get these plugged up. whatever oil get some oil back here winds kind of blowing and then these weren't very tight on here so I'm barely gonna tighten them up to take off the filter. And this is where the old red guy comes in. So instead of getting oil all over all of these parts, we're gonna shove that up in there. And it kind of fits, there's a, um, let me show you. So up under there, there's a little clamp for that wire. Um, so I just have it hooked up underneath there. So I went and picked this up at Lowe's. It was like 10 bucks or something, Craftsman. Um, so slides on there. And then we uh, just take it off. The only thing that's going to thwart me here is the wind. But that's working pretty good. I'll put a link to this on uh, Amazon where I got it. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't too bad. It helps keep the tractor clean, so that's nice.
We'll go ahead and uh, let that drain out a little bit, and let's check on the back. Um, I ended up real quick just switching this out for the thicker one. It was just having a problem sucking it up, so I'll give it a few more pumps here. So that looks like it's pretty much done draining here. Let's give it a wipe down. New filter here. Um, uh, lubed up the O-ring there with some new oil. So let's go ahead and get that on. So we're going to do a uh, hand tight, loose, whatever, and then three quarter turn. So I want here to end up here. That's it. Let's get this wiped off. Easy peasy. Got a little bit of oil on the uh, clamp there, but much better than it dripping all the way down all of this. So a lot easier to clean. Let's go ahead and get it filled up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this into a bucket here. So to get it off, they have this cap here. Well, you can see that, but you just screw this out and it helps pop off the hose and then kind of breaks the, uh, the suction there. It's gonna take a little longer, um, but it is so much easier and cleaner than trying to figure out uh, buckets and whatnot to put it into underneath, so. Put our screw cap back on here. fill hose, suction hose I guess, in there, pump it up again and get it sucking. So I just got a 1540 uh, diesel oil here, so this is one gallon. I probably could have used the oil extractor to take the oil out of here, um, 
but I didn't want to dirty it up because I, I need to use it a couple times for the hydraulic fluid. So I'm just going to keep the extractor clean for that. But this one's pretty easy with the plugs underneath, and I had to empty it all out anyways, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so this says it takes 7.4 liters. Uh, each one of these is 3.75 liters. So I need to go down to uh, where there's half a liter left, pretty much, um, and then we'll kind of check it from there. Probably go a little before then, before we check it. There's always some oil left in here, but with the drains being at the bottom, it probably gets a good amount of it out. So it'll probably be pretty close to that uh, 7.4 liters. All right, I'm going to um, hold off on adding any more in after this drains um, until I can check the fluid level. But I will do that after we get everything back in the transmission. I'm not going to turn it on until then. So, hang tight. So I got everything I could with the uh, suction in the back. And the problem I'm having, I already tested this out. My bucket doesn't fit under there. So I'm using my uh, flexible guy here again to kind of catch any remnants uh, coming out. There's just no good place to uh, rest this, like on the back, so. Hopefully we don't have too much coming out. So you can see it's just draining right into the bucket here. So a little bit more to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my drip pan under here and uh, catch, maybe. Catch whatever else is left. see um, right on the end there there's a magnet so we're gonna go ahead and wipe that off so that's all the sludge and stuff that it's catching I'm going to go ahead and screw this on, even though something's still coming out. It's just going to seal because I put oil around the, uh, the O-ring anyways. So. So. Part is parts. Getting it. Past the magnet. Hand tight on there. All right, let's go get it filled up. Got it held in here with this little guy. Um, we're just gonna start pouring, and hopefully all goes well. Probably should have taken the uh, backhoe off make this a little easier, but 
Oh well. Slow and easy. Just need the wind to stop. That's the only thing that's really making me make a mess. Dang it. I'll go ahead and check the uh, level with the dipstick here. And we are in range. I always forget to put it in neutral. Alright, no leaks anywhere. Transmission filter is good. So, let's drive it a little bit. Well guys, the 50 hour service is done. I think it went pretty good. Took me two, two and a half hours, something like that. A lot of that time was spent waiting for the oil to come out with the extractor. That said, I would probably still do it again that way just because it did not spill hardly anything. I think the most that I spilled was filling it back up. Didn't have the right funnel for that, wasn't quite long enough, big enough, etc. Also, I probably would have helped if I took the backhoe off, just so I have a better angle at it, but it is what it is. I'll also put a link down below for that extractor and the flexible funnel, both off of Amazon. Um, I think even with buying those and the oil, it was still cheaper than having a dealer do it. But yeah, and I think the only other thing left to do is to check the play and the brake and the uh, forward and reverse pedals. So I'll tackle that uh, tomorrow probably. But as usual, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out in growing this channel. If you're new to the channel, stumbled upon us, and want to continue seeing our story here of us fixing up the farm, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. If you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back. We really appreciate your support. And we'll see you on the farm next time.